Hey guys, Jack here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Today we have some exciting products sent out by Ugreen, but this is all my own thoughts and own videos. So today we're taking a look at the Ugreen GAN X charger. So this is a 65 watt gallium nitrate charger, which you may have seen in the news recently. It's pretty useful, much smaller and more energy efficient than the traditional chargers that use silicone. So you can get a much smaller charger, but the same power. So you can see 65 watts there. And then we have two accessories, so the right 90 degree cable, so useful if you're lying in bed, and you don't want to bend the uh, lightning cable or you want the cable going straight out from the back of your laptop, not coming out to the left or right. So pretty useful, but we'll go ahead and unbox and take a look at these products, see how they perform. So we'll start off with the gallium nitrate charger, which is the most interesting one. So this retails for £30 in the UK and you can get it in the US and the EU as well. And taking a look at some of the specs on the back so you can see 65 watts max so that's enough for a macbook pro 13 inch uh, and that can be outputted from the type c port but then with that second type c it's enough for 18 watts so if you want to charge an iphone or an ipad as well you can do that that will obviously restrict the second type c so that will drop to about 40 watts 45 watts so bear in mind it is shared it's a total of 65 but enough for a laptop and a phone so we'll go ahead and cut the box open and take off the plastic put that off to the side and give it a shake and there we go we've got some leaflets so a little leaflet in here oh there you go just some information power delivery fast so just a use manual with some of the specs about what it can output. Put that off to the side. And here's the charger itself. So put the box off there, just a little bit of plastic. And there you go. So a nice black charger, very clean design with obviously the three prongs for the UK. Shame they don't fold in like um, some Apple chargers now do. Uh, some other chargers I've seen do fold in. So it does make it rather bulky. I wish they sort of extend it out just another couple of mil and then you can have folding prongs. And then on the bottom here, you have the two Type-C ports. So the Type-C 1, that's up to 18 watts. And then Type-C 2 there for the laptop or higher powered device. And we bring in another charger. So this is a MacBook Air. This is 30 watts. You can see size comparison, just how much bigger it is like that, comparing it. So it's obviously thicker, but it's a square. So it's actually 50% smaller than the 65 watt version. So if you're using a MacBook Pro, then this is gonna be perfect for traveling because if you wanted to charge two devices with Apple, you'd have to carry this, which is pretty much the same size. You can see there it's just a little bit bigger and then a little bit thicker, but then you'd also have to carry your laptop charger as well. So that compared to just that, it's much more efficient. But you can see here what I mean by the folding prongs. It would have been nice if they could have just squeezed that in because especially in the UK, that's pretty bulky there um, and can break off. So maybe second generation, they can do that. Then taking a look at the cables. So we've got the type C to lightning with the 90 degree. If we go ahead and cut this open. So again, very useful. This retails for 19 pounds here in the UK. And we'll go ahead and open up the box. And slide it out so we've got again little leaflet don't really need that and we'll go ahead and open it up and this is available in multiple lengths so down to half a meter all the way up to two meters this is the two meter version so plenty of length if you want to run this from the back of the sofa or behind the bed it's lots of length so we'll go ahead and unwrap these that take a while you can see it's nicely braided, so not going to be damaged at all. Go ahead, take that off. You can see there the 90 degrees, so you've got that lightning on one end with the Ugreen branding, and then on the other end, that Type-C. So that will enable uh, up to 20 watts, but obviously this only supports 18 watts out of that Type-C one, but enough to fast charge an iPhone or an iPad that still uses lightning, so very useful. And then we also have second type c to type c and this one is good for 60 watts of power so 
not quite enough to fully charge a MacBook Pro, but it will pretty much keep it running, especially if you've got, say, the new M1 MacBook, which, uh, let's be honest, doesn't really use that much power. But especially for a MacBook Air, this will be more than enough. So as I said, useful if you want it going off the back, or if you have a Type-C phone, then again, you can lie in bed without having to damage the cable, because you won't be bending it like that. You'll be able to just run it off to the side like that. So you can see, nice, simple, 90 degree with U green there, and then type C on this end again. So go ahead and test it out. So we'll go ahead and plug the type C to C into the port two. And then I'm gonna grab another type C cable because I'm using my phone currently to record this. So we'll go ahead and plug in another type C cable into that other port, and then we'll be able to test out and see if it charges the two devices. So see, I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in there. So you can see what it looks like. They both head straight down. So if that's not gonna work, then you may wanna look elsewhere. They do sell a four port version, which has ports on the front there as opposed to on the bottom. But we'll go ahead and plug that into the wall. And then if we bring in two devices here, so I've got an iPad here, I'll go ahead and fold up that. It's a bit greasy with fingerprints. So we'll go ahead and plug in that 18 watt charger and we should hear it go. And there we go, that's charging. And then if I bring in a MacBook Air, we'll go ahead and plug that in as well. So you can see here, this 90 degree bend, we'll go ahead and plug it in. And there it is, it's charging as well. So you can see, nice and clean, much better than if you had the cable coming out like this. So just to give you a comparison, you can see there the difference it makes if you're trying to bend that cross. If you don't have much desk space, this is pretty useful. It goes straight out the back like so. So nice and clean and they're both working. And as I said, this is enough for 60 watts, this cable. They do do a version with 100 watts. So if you need that extra power, you can use that one. But as I say, that's only nine pounds in the UK. So very cheap, very useful. You get them all different lengths from the half a meter all the way up to two meters. So very useful. There's links in the description to all these products if you want to check them out, along with some promo codes, so up to 15% off, and that's valid for 10 days after this video. So if you guys want to check it out or use the links, do please click down below. And if you found this video useful or enjoyable, hit that like button, support the channel. If you have any questions about the GAN or gallium nitrate chargers or this Ugreen uh, stuff in particular, do post a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible or any questions about charging, I have quite a few time to charge videos on the channel. Otherwise, get subscribed for future videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.